Hello and welcome. For today's topic, we need to go back in timeline to 2021. On 24th March 2021, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, MCA in short, had come up with a notification. This notification is applicable to all the companies using accounting software, which everyone does. The notification states that the accounting software should have features like 1. Audit Trail Audit Trail is a detailed chronological record which helps you track and trace transactions. It is helpful not just for the internal use of these companies but also for auditors. Second, it should have edit log feature that is the software should be capable to record log of activities like when is the transaction created, any changes that have been made, what is the name of the user, date and time when such changes were made and so on. Three, this edit log feature cannot be disabled. That is, the software should not have any option to disable this edit log feature. Initially, when the notification was issued, this change was to be effective from 1st April 2021 which later got extended to 1st April 2022. As of now, this is going to be effective from 1st April 2023 unless it's extended. To help these companies adhere to this notification, software developers, that is those who have this accounting softwares, started making changes to their applications. Today, we are going to talk about changes that have been made to one such software, Tally Prime. Tally Solutions have come up with a new software, Tally Prime Edit Log. Now, if you are a Tally Prime user and if you want to enable this Edit Log feature, all you need to do is to upgrade your existing version to this Edit Log version. Alternatively, you can install this as a new application. Actually, Tally Solutions recommend you to install it as a new application. You would be able to use both these applications. Initially, it is better to install it as a new application and once you are familiar, you may discard the earlier version. Now, this Tally Prime edit log comes to you at no extra cost if you are a licensed Tally user and if your subscription services are active. But if you are a Tally ERP9 user, then first you need to upgrade it to Tally Prime only then you would be able to use this edit log version. The difference between Tally Prime and Tally Prime edit log is that in Tally Prime, you have an option to enable or disable edit log feature, which is not so in the edit log version. To put it differently, in the edit log version, you cannot disable this edit log feature. If you're planning to use both these softwares, then to differentiate between these two, you may look for the difference in the icons. Edit log version has EL prominently displayed on the icon. And you can also find the words edit log below the name Tally Prime. Not sure if this is enough for us to distinguish these two versions. So in today's video, we are going to see how to install or upgrade to Tally Prime edit log and migrate existing data. After that, we are going to have a basic understanding of this edit log feature. That is, we are going to create a voucher and see how this edit log feature works in Tally. Let's first install the application. Navigate to the Tally Solutions website. Download Tally Prime edit log. Double click the file. If you want to upgrade your existing version to edit log version, click update. But if you want to install it as a new application, click more actions, install new, install. After the installation is successful, let's open this application. First, you need to migrate data. If you want to change options related to backup, you may do so by clicking configure. If you don't want backup, you can set this as no. Here I have selected yes. Then you can select the path where you want the backup file to be stored. Click migrate. 
with this we have completed the installation of tally prime edit log and also migrated the existing data let's now see how this edit log feature works in tally for this i have created a sales voucher this is basically a transaction of sale of smartphone quantity four numbers at 75k each gst is auto computed Let's accept this transaction. If you would like to know how to create sales vouchers, you may consider watching my earlier video, the link in the top right corner. From Gateway of Tally, select Daybook, Basis of Values, Show Report For, and select the type of voucher. Here I've selected all vouchers. If you would like to include deleted vouchers, set this as Yes. Here I've selected No. Select the type of voucher entries. Here I've selected all vouchers. Now let's open this voucher. Click related reports, edit log. Alternatively, you may use keyboard shortcut Alt Q. This is the edit log for this particular transaction. Here you have version number, activity, name of the user, date and time. When you create a voucher, version number 1 would be created and activity would be created. Let's press enter. Left hand side is left blank because this is the first version. In the right hand side you have version 1 and this would list out the values for this particular transaction. Let's scroll down. Then we have version 2 received no changes. When you open a voucher which is already created and you accept this voucher without making any change, then the activity would be received, no changes. Press enter. You would get a message, no differences to display as the voucher was received without any changes. Let's now alter this voucher. Let's say we change quantity and rate. Let's increase quantity from 4 to 6 numbers and reduce rate from 75k to 70k. GST is auto computed. Let's accept this voucher. Let us now view the edit log for this particular transaction. Now version 3 is created and activity is altered. Let's press enter. In the left hand side you have version 2 activity received no changes. In the right hand side you have version 3 activity altered. The altered values would be displayed in red. Let's scroll down. If you want to view only the altered values, click configure. In the field show altered values only, select yes. Show configuration based values is set as yes. Press enter. Now the edit log would display only the altered values. Use plus key to view previous versions like version 1 and minus key to view later versions. This edit log feature we have just seen, it is not just limited to transactions, this would equally hold good for masters, that is the account heads that you create. Let's say you create your customer's account, later on you make some changes, let's say you change GS10 or credit period. So even these changes would be recorded as part of edit log. Now why did MCA come up with this notification? In the past we have come across several instances where corporates have resorted to data manipulation and committed frauds. So this edit log feature in a way would help restrict or reduce this data manipulation and this would also improve transparency. Second, this feature is helpful not just for the internal use of these companies, but it would also help auditors do a better job. This MCA notification is applicable only to companies like private limited companies, public limited companies, one person companies, etc. That is the companies which are registered with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. To put it differently, as of now, this is not applicable for individuals including proprietorship concerns, partnership forms including limited liability partnerships that is LLPs. 
this is all i have for you today hope the video was informative thank you for watching